Welcome to I Love English TV. One day, a young boy asked his father. One day, a young boy asked his father. What is the value of my life? What is the value of my life? Instead of answering, instead of answering, the father told his son to take this stone and go sell it at the market. The father told his son to take this stone and go sell it at the market. If anybody asks the price, if anybody asks the price, raise two fingers and don't say anything. Raise two fingers and don't say anything. The boy then went to the market. And The boy then went to the market. And a woman asked, How much is this rock? And a woman asked, How much is this rock? I want to put it in my garden. I want to put it in my garden. The boy didn't say anything and raised his two fingers. The boy didn't say anything and raised his two fingers. And the woman said, Two dollars? I will take it. And the woman said, Two dollars? I will take it. The boy went home and told his father. The boy went home and told his father. A woman wants to buy this rock for two dollars. A woman wants to buy this rock for two dollars. The father then said. The father then said. Son, I want you to take this rock to a museum. Son. I want you to take this rock to a museum. If anybody wants to buy it, don't. If anybody wants to buy it, don't. Don't say a word, just put up your two fingers. Don't say a word. Just put up your two fingers. The boy then went to the museum. The boy then went to the museum. And a man wanted to buy the rock. And a man wanted to buy the rock. 
The boy didn't say a word but put up two fingers and the The boy didn't say a word but put up two fingers and the And the man said, two hundred dollar? I will take it. And the man said, two hundred dollar? I will take it. The boy was shocked and went running home. And the boy was shocked and went running home and, and told his father a man wanted to buy this rock for two hundred dollars. And told his father a man wanted to buy this rock for two hundred dollars. His father then said. His father then said, The last place I want you to take this rock is to a precious stone store. The last place I want you to take this rock is to a precious stone store. Show it to the owner and don't say a word. Show it to the owner and don't say a word. And if he asks for the price, just raise up your two fingers. And if he asks for the price, just raise up your two fingers. The son then ran to a precious stone store. The son then ran to a precious stone store. He showed the rock to the owner. He showed the rock to the owner. And said, Where did you find this stone? And said, Where did you find this stone? It is one of the rarest stones in the world. It is one of the rarest stones in the world. How much would you sell it for? How much would you sell it for? The boy raised up two fingers. The boy raised up two fingers. And the man said, I'm going to take it for two hundred dollars. And the man said, I'm going to take it for two hundred dollars. The boy didn't know what to say and ran home to his father. The boy didn't know what to say and ran home to his father. Father, father, there is a man who wants to buy this rock for twenty dollars. Father, father, there is a man who wants to buy this rock for twenty dollars. His father then said. His father then said. Did you know the value of your life now? Did you know the value of your life now? As you see, it doesn't matter where you come from. As you see, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter where you were born, the color of your skin. It doesn't matter where you were born, the color of your skin.
or how much money you were born into, or how much money you were born into. It matters where you decide to place yourself. It matters where you decide to place yourself. The people you surround yourself with. The people you surround yourself with. You may have lived your whole life. You may have lived your whole life thinking that you were a two dollar stone. Thinking that you were a two dollar stone. You may have lived your whole life. You may have lived your whole life surrounded by people that saw your worth for only two dollars. Surrounded by people that saw your worth for only two dollars. But everybody has a diamond inside him. But everybody has a diamond inside him. And we can choose to surround ourselves with people. And we can choose to surround ourselves with people. People that see our value and see the diamond inside of us. People that see our value and see the diamond inside of us. Choose the people you surround yourself with wisely. Choose the people you surround yourself with wisely. That can make all the difference in your life. That can make all the difference in your life. One day, a young boy asked his father, What is the value of my life? Instead of answering, the father told his son to take this stone and go sell it at the market. If anybody asks the price, raise two fingers and don't say anything. The boy then went to the market and a woman asked, How much is this rock? I want to put it in my garden. The boy didn't say anything and raised his two fingers, and the woman said, Two dollars? I will take it. The boy went home and told his father, A woman wants to buy this rock for two dollars. The father then said, Son, I want you to take this rock to a museum. If anybody wants to buy it, don't say a word. Just put up your two fingers. The boy then went to the museum and a man wanted to buy the rock. The boy didn't say a word but put up two fingers and the man said, Two hundred dollar? I will take it. The boy was shocked and went running home and told his father a man wanted to buy this rock for two hundred dollars. His father then said, The last place I want you to take this rock is to a precious stone store. Show it to the owner and don't say a word, and if he asks for the price, just raise up your two fingers. The son then ran to a precious stone store. He showed the rock to the owner and said, Where did you find this stone? It is one of the rarest stones in the world. I must have? How much would you sell it for? The boy raised up two fingers and the man said, I'm gonna take it for two hundred dollars. The boy didn't know what to say and ran home to his father. 
Father, father, there is a man who wants to buy this rock for twenty dollars. His father then said, Son, date, did you know the value of your life now? As you see, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter where you were born, the color of your skin, or how much money you were born into. It matters where you decide to place yourself. The people you surround yourself with. You may have lived your whole life thinking that you were a two dollar stone. You may have lived your whole life surrounded by people that saw your worth for only two dollars. But everybody has a diamond inside him. And we can choose to surround ourselves with people that see our value and see the diamond inside of us. Choose the people you surround yourself with wisely. That can make all the difference in your life.